Hello there, mates. I'm here today to talk to you about our latest embedded system design project. We are a group of computer engineers in our fourth year. And as usual, we were asked to implement a hardware project. And of course, we had to come up with an idea to implement on our own. The idea was to be implement on an Arduino and using a bunch of sensors and resistors and a circuit and so on. So as grown up mature adults, we decided to build, guess what, an arcade game. Because let's face it, we all want to go back to being kids at least once. The game implemented highly resembles the Dance Dance Revolution. It's an arcade game we used to play as kids. Remember when, the, when you went to an arcade and there was the big machine where, you, where a song played and you had to dance according to the beat by pressing on multiple lights below you, like the square lights, and you have to press the corresponding light to that beat to win. So we're building that. Okay, it was fun, wasn't it? Well, we did exactly that. Except that you're using your fingers instead of your legs, <laughs> because let's face it, we couldn't implement the whole big thing. Okay, so now let's explore what's implemented. In order to do the processing, we use processing IDE. It's like uh, Arduino IDE. And a library called name to process a song and assemble it into 26 different bands of frequencies. Then we mapped all, all these uh, frequencies into just 8 bits of information. Because our game supports only 8 LEDs and 8 buttons. And in order to communicate with the Arduino board, we used serial communication to write the information from the, to the EE PROM in the Arduino board. So that the next time we run a game, we won't have to start the song processing again. We just read the information from the EE PROM directly. Uh, the last thing is to play the song using the wave shield and let the LEDs accordingly, according to the values read from the EA PROM at the same time. Hi, my name is Nana. I will be talking about ultrasonic sensor. Ultrasonic sensor sends out a high frequency sound pulse and then multiplied by how long it takes for the echo or the sound to reflect back. The sensor has two openings on its front, one for transmitting ultrasonic waves like a tiny speaker and the other one to receive them like a tiny microphone. When the ultrasonic sensor measures the distance by multiplying the time and the speed of the sound divided by two, if the range of the player's hand is greater than five and less than ten, then the ultrasonic sensor sends two signals, one for the music shield to place music and the other one to the LCD screen to start the game to the player by displaying two messages, want to play and have fun. Then the game begins. Now to the buttons implementation. <clears throat> the buttons work as follows. Each button represents an LED. They are wired using jumpers to the pins of the Arduino and of course a common ground. After the LEDs turn on, i.e. a game turn is currently having place, a code check occurs. Our C code checks if the player pressed a button corresponding to an on LED i.e. the button corresponds to an LED which has one written onto it. If so, this means that the player just pressed the correct button, which means we should increase his score with 10, which, which is what happens. Now, another check occurs. If the button pressed was corresponding to a wrong LED, i.e. the pressed button corresponds to an LED that has a zero written onto it. The player's score is automatically decremented by 10 as a penalty because he pressed the wrong button. How it done? And some components. The debouncing of the buttons is handled using flags to avoid as reading multiple inputs, of course, so before, that the game the flows smoothly and without any an errors or wrong score calculation. The Arduino. 
I will start talking with the LCD. As you can see, we have VSS, we have VDD, VNote, RS, RW, E, enable bit, and four data bits. We only use the four of data from D4 to D7. We also used VSS connected to the ground, VDD, the positive 5 voltage, V node, the intensity, RS store bit, RW always connected with ground because we don't write any sync, E enable bit and connected to the Arduino to sum of bits or pins we configured before. And this potentiometer, or in another words, variable resistance, controls the resistance which control the brightness of our LED, which already has time and score. Moving on, we will talk about shield, music shield, which connected to the speaker and start play music when I approach the ultrasonic. Our connection simplified by put many tags like 7, bit 7, 0, 1, the numbering of our LEDs. Here is the same case as you can see. Also, also we connect some photo sensors. To control the intensity of the light to save power energy according to the light as my lamp has high intensity the LEDs has high glowing light as you can see We host the button yeah, on this board to enable the, play, the player to play with it to gain or lose scoring as well as the lights. We can also see the complexity of our circuit hidden behind the board to have a neat view finally this button resets the game to start again force reset as you see, it calculates the distance. And if I approach the sensor, the music starts. Reset, force reset. We'll stop everything. And thanks for watching.